you are strong, you are grounded in your values and your beliefs, and you will see them through. Hey guys, the Blue Magician is back with more phenomenal magic for you guys today. And guys, I just want to talk about making yourself a priority. And honestly, because that's that's the whole foundation of self-love and self-care, you know, making yourself a priority. And uh, I know a few useful ways that will help you embody this, you know, help you really make yourself a priority. Because making yourself a priority, you know, quote unquote, being selfish in a mindful way is only just you aligning with your values, you know, and your intentions. Because if you don't align with your values and your intentions, a lot of conflicting energies, it will, it will not, it will take you outside of that, you know, and you won't be able to really embody your energy and grow, you know, and care for yourself the way you want to, you know, so the way you set boundaries for yourself and you stand firm in those boundaries is by one, being aware you have to be aware of conflicting energies. First, you have to know your intentions and your values, you know, what you want. Look, I wanna love myself more. You know, I wanna, I want growth, more growth for myself, right? Once you know what your intentions and your values are, then you have to be aware what's conflicting with it. You know, like, okay, you want to, Say for instance, you want peace, right? Anything that conflicts with the energy of peace, you know, whether it be situations, people, whatever it is, like it could just be the littlest of things, guys. As long as it conflicts with the energy of peace, you have to avoid it at all costs. I say avoid it at the root, but if not, you have to just, yeah, avoid it at the root. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you can, if you can help it, avoid it at the root, you know, and be honest, speak your light, say, hey, you know, this, uh, this is not where I'm at with things. And you just have the first person you be honest with is with yourself. Gosh, if you're not honest with yourself, right, and you don't say, hey, look, this is not for me. This does not uh, align with my energy or whatever the case may be, you know, for your values and for yourself then in that instance, you're just going to, you're not gonna be truthful with yourself and uh, yeah, you, you, you're not gonna be in your boundaries and then your energy is not, it's, it's not gonna help you, you know, further down the line. Anyway, so this is something, it's a practice. You know, setting, setting boundaries is a practice. You know, and uh, without this practice, I realize like it can, it can ca it can cause a lot of uh, stagnant energies if you don't like resentment. You know, you just be like, "Why do I always say no?" Like, like I mean, why do I always say yes when you mean no? You know what I'm saying? In in, in it, like, just for any situation. You know, say for example, you were supposed to go running, and you said no. You made an excuse. Anything. You know, for, say, or another example. Somebody said, "Hey." Uh, let's do this and it conflicts with your energy and you say yes when you really meant no then that brings resentment you're gonna say like I said why do I always agree to things that conflict with my energy why can't I stay in the boundaries that I wish to set for myself right but like I said that takes awareness that takes being aware of the energies that conflict with yours and what you do not like and do not want for your life and for your values and where you intend to go then the next thing is is affirmations you know just affirm like i affirmed to you in the beginning of the video you know for whatever your values are or or your intentions are affirm yourself and the best time to affirm yourself is in the morning when you wake up before you do anything you know i recently started to do this and like i see how it really helps my energy stay 
stay stable throughout the day. You know, because when I wake up, and uh, I, usually when I wake up, first thing I do, you know, I, uh, I write down my dream, I take my dog for a walk, you know, and then I ground myself, I meditate, you know? And I, and I recently started meditating outside, and while I'm in nature, after I meditate, I just affirm to myself. You know, I tell myself uh, simple affirmations like, that just, that just aligned with me. You know, I am strong, source flows through me. You know, I am protected, I am safe. I am grounded and rooted like the trees and the roots that ground in the earth. You know, just, just simple things to help you really embody the energy that aligns with you and what makes you feel good. That's where the power in affirmations come from. It comes from, you know, if it means something to you. If it doesn't mean something to you, then it's just words. It's empty words. You know, so for whatever it is, whatever your values and your intentions are, find affirmations. Create your own. Create your own affirmations that make you feel good and say it to yourself every morning. And even better, if you wake up and uh, first thing you do, you head to the bathroom to, to use the bathroom for, the, for whatever reason when you wake up, you just... Look, your, look yourself in the mirror, in your eyes. Look at yourself and affirm to yourself. That is powerful energy because you are, you are embracing your own energy and reaffirming it and letting yourself know like, look, you know, this is you. Because we already know like the energy, what you embody in you except for yourself, that's what you are because we, I can sit there and explain to you guys all day. Just, sorry guys, my book, my magic book just, just flipped pages for you guys. <laughs> you know, it just flipped pages. It's just trying to give you guys some new magic. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, just affirm for yourself, you know. That's a great way to stay in your boundaries. Because what you believe I don't know if this is the right word, is what you will conceive. But if you guys get what I'm trying to say, what you believe is what you will create. You know, is what will be, in other words, is what you put up here. Because what you put up here and what you believe with your energy, that's the direction that you're gonna go. You know, whether it be for better or for worse. And that is why setting boundaries and making yourself a priority, right, for your values and your intentions on, on where, where you want to go and what you want to do, that's going to help you in the long run. It's a practice, like I said, it's something that you carry throughout life. It's not just something that you do till you get to a certain goal or, you know, for just certain situation. No, it's something that you have to practice for your energy just, just in general. It is. See, we say a lot and I realize this. We say a lot. It's not personal. Everything is personal. It is personal because anything, anything that, you know, is your value and you say it's not personal, it does affect you because it's your value, you know, so it is personal if you guys get what I'm trying to say, you know, and if you don't stand for something, you fall for everything. And this is just, this is a quote that I actually heard the other day and it's so true. If you don't stand for something, if you don't have values and intentions, you will fall for everything. Everything will be able to get the best of you. And that's it. So yeah, guys, this is that's my Monday message for today. You know, whenever you guys are watching this, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. You know, process what I'm saying, if it resonates, you know. And just, uh, yeah, I just, I feel like this is something, like I said, it's the foundation of self-care and self-love, you know. Because like I said, it is personal, you know. So yeah, guys, I love you guys. I will be seeing you guys more throughout the week. And uh, uh, recently, I haven't been posting, you know, I, I took a week off, you know, and it's just because that's, that's the place that I'm at. That's where spirit wants me, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I've been pushed to a place to where I have to just disassociate, you know, take some time for myself, take care of my own energy, you know. But of course, I will always, uh, when the time is right and, and, and when I feel called to, I will always give my messages to you guys, shine my light to you guys, you know what I'm saying, extend it so you guys can take from it and uh, take what resonates and integrate into your lives to make your life better, you know, that's all it is, so yeah, I love you guys and I'll be seeing you guys more throughout the week, yeah.
Peace and joy.